hit down the Rue de Dr. De, de Nan and get some food. I'm gonna walk on the footpath because I'm not a rebel, unlike Catherine. Hey, check out this person. Who's the cutie? Huh? It's you. You're the cutie. All the license plates start with SPM. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. He is from whoever he's from. They're from Brockville, Ontario. But originally, he is from Quebec City. So I feel like he's pretty cool because he speaks French. <laughs> like he will practice. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's keep wandering. The vehicles are a weird combination of French vehicles, so Renaults and Peugeots. Hello. And, hello. And American vehicles like Ford F-150s and Ford F-150s. Like Ford and then a Peugeot. It's strange. It's like this weird American France. Hey, so we're here, oh, was kidding. we're here at the bar, um, it's the first time I've spoken French, now it's like, uh, un Smirnoff Ice, a, un, and then I panicked and said Corona, s'il vous plaît, and so Catherine has the Corona, I'm drinking a Smirnoff Ice, so, cheers. <laughs> Hello! Hey, Bali Rustic! I enjoyed you. Okay, let's keep a wandering and see what we can find. We've got the liquor store, which is very pretty. We've got Catherine Kenning, which is very pretty. Gotcha. The land comes. <laughs> Okay, we just had the lamb, Catherine had the steak. How was it? So good. Just past nine o'clock outside the restaurant, and out of ten, I give it a. give it a seven. Like the mains, I give maybe an eight. It was really nice mains. Uh, this is a little bit ho hum. Hey, Catherine. Yeah. So you had like nearly a bottle of rose Syrah. Syrah rose. Yeah. After two beers. Yeah. What do you yeah. think of the food place? I think. Out of ten. Go. And seven. Yeah. Was the yeah. That's what I said. I said it was 8 before dessert, and then it turned into a 7 after dessert. Mm. I, so, I have uh, mouse beard in my mouth sometimes. A pretty fun fact is if Catherine kind of gets drunk, she gets the hiccups pretty much 80% of the time. And Catherine has the hiccups. Not only that, <coughs> but she can't stop hiccuping. Oh yeah, there's also like a missile, whatever that was. And people were laughing at me. Torpedo, oh yeah. And we, down at the local spot, where the, um, the youngsters have their, uh, get on the wines. But check out the view in front of us. Here it is. Check out that. It's where we are. Uh, here. It's St. Pierre. Oh, hey, Mrs. Kenning. Nah. 
to be in post on my own Instagram later. Absolutely. The only way it could be better is if it was panda colour, white and black. And due to technical difficulties, somehow all the audio from this point on became super quiet. So, anyways, we had a breakfast at Auberge Saint Pierre, and that was nice. The croissants were good. And from there, then we took a walk up the nearest hill which was just behind the Auberge Saint-Pierre. As you can see, it's a wee bit of a hill. And on the way, we saw another Fiat Panda, which brought no end of delight to Catherine. And it's a Fiat Panda Cross, so it's a full drive version. Anyways, the views up the top, very nice, very pretty. And then from there, we walked back down and walked past the marina, which had very blue but stinky water. So that was kind of gross. And then we were at the harbour and we took a wee stroll towards the lighthouse, which is really neat. So you can walk out there. I don't know whether it was high tide or low tide, but it's cool for us. And then from the uh, lighthouse, you get a really neat view of the ships going in and out of the harbour. Probably the most exciting one is the ferry from Fortune, which is that big boat and is funded um, with money from the French government. I mean the whole collectivity is funded pretty heavily. There's direct flights from Paris believe it or not and there's not that many people here. Anyways the ferry came into the port and as you can see it was rush hour so this uh, car park was packed and other than that we decided to get ourselves some pizza and so Neko, a cat, cat was cute, the pizza was pretty nice, and most of the food on the island is pretty expensive, so to find a bakery that was still open before midday was cool. Catherine got some French champagne, which tasted worse than it looked, um, and that was it. We sort of wandered on down, it was after midday, so everything had closed. So we went through Square Joffrey, and checked out, there's like a little monument to presumably fishermen who have either come on hard times or have died at sea. And from there we packed the champagne and all the goodies into this kind of touristy style double backpack, which looks super ugly by the way. And that was it for Saint Pierre. I really recommend it. It's really cool and who'd have thought it's like attached to Newfoundland down the uh, Atlantic side of France of Canada. From there, we headed back to St. John's and we stayed in the dormitory again at a local university and included breakfast, which had some uh, very sweet chocolate milk and some muffins and really, I mean, it's university food, right? So muffins, not so good. And the coffee, well, it's pretty typical Canadian coffee, basically gas station coffee is how I would describe it. But the, everything was using normal plates. There was no disposable plastic. So it was very good.